In this video, we'll be making data predictions on a sample dataset of FIFA players, as in the game FIFA. The tool, obviously AI, will be running the data science machine learning algorithm behind the scenes for us. The main tool we'll be using in this project is obviously AI. You can sign up for an account at obviously.ai. If you navigate to their pricing page, you will see that they have a free plan for those of you getting started with this tool. A note of warning here, you must have a company email address to be able to use Obviously AI. For example, you can't use a domain such as Gmail. If you don't have a company email address to use, take advantage of a service like Email on Deck. They let you create a disposable email. You can use that to sign up for Obviously AI. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. Once you've logged into your Obviously AI account, the first step to making predictions is to select a dataset to work with. If you already have a dataset you would like to work with, you can click Add Dataset and upload your CSV file. No it must meet all the requirements on the left hand side for accurate analysis. However, in this video, we're going to navigate to Data Store. And we're going to use the sample datasets within Obviously AI. Specifically, we're going to use the one titled FIFA Players. As we can see, it's a very clean dataset with all the data that we need. So to begin using it, let's click Use for Prediction. From here, we'll want to select Pick a Column to Predict, and select which column in this dataset we want to run a prediction on. For this project, I want to run a prediction on Potential. Once you've done that, simply click Go. Then, once you've done that, Click Start Predicting. Depending on the size of the dataset, obviously AI will take varying amounts of time to make predictions on the data. But once it has, this is what it will look like. Let's now analyse the data. Before we begin analysing our data, I just want to rename this report to FIFA Players Report. And then in brackets, I want to write potential. Let's now start interpreting the predictions, starting in drivers. As you'll see, we have drivers for predicting potential. This is the data point we selected and chose to analyze. From the very large data set of FIFA players, obviously AI has helped us to visualize what is inversely indifferent and directly proportional to the potential of FIFA players in our data set. We can see that a wage is indifferent to the potential of a player. However, the overall rating is directly proportional to the potential. This data tells us the story that overall and a case can be made for age are more proportional to determining potential. If we scroll down to top drivers by impact, we'll be presented with more analysis options, with which we can dive deeper into. For example, let's go to age. Here we can see the impact that a FIFA player's age has on their potential. It's on a downward trajectory as they are growing older. Another example, let's go to preferred foot. Here we can see how the preferred foot with which FIFA players like has on their potential. It's close, but we can see that players who have a preferred left foot have slightly more potential. And for a final example, let's find and go to skill moves, which we can find here. Here we can see that FIFA players with more skill moves have a 
better predicted potential than those with fewer skill moves. Now, if we move on to the next tab, Personas, here we can build personas to predict further outcomes. This is great if we wanted to dive deeper into this data and understand how potential would affect someone with a specific set of attributes which we can set. And with the final two tabs, Export, that allows us to export our data for use elsewhere, and Tech Specs, that allows us to take a bird's eye view of our data set and see stuff like the columns we used. Overall, as we can see back in the Drivers tab, obviously AI has made our data more understandable from the large amounts of data we had. We are now able to comprehend what that data means. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest no-code projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.